Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. So you're watching Mainframe Tutorial JCL Part 10. So in this video, I will be sharing uh, about restart and its importance. So, so this would be the continuation uh, video of uh, bypassing techniques uh, which uh, I was uh, covered in my last video about the if condition and uh, this video is completely about the restart bypassing technique. So let's go ahead and start. It is one of the techniques used for bypassing the activity that is it is used to start the execution of a job uh, from a particular step. So you have a various steps. Uh, you have something like 15 steps. In that 15 steps you want to skip first 5 steps and restart from the 6th uh, steps. Then we go uh, then we go a concept called uh, restarts. Then we use a, a concept called restart. So what are the important points that you need to consider when working with the restart? So it is a keyword parameter which is coded at job level anywhere after positional parameter and uh, it is a keyword parameter which is coded at job level anywhere after position parameter. Please comment out the if statement if you have any in the steps and you have if you have any in the steps that is uh, it might be using some conditions uh, uh, that is like uh, if step one return condition is equal to zero then and execute these things so you have, if you are trying to uh, restart from steps two and if you're searching for that if condition then obviously your restart won't work so you need to be cautious over there so make sure you comment that if statements and you try to execute from the step and another is if you have any temporary data state restart from the step from that particular step where the temporary data set is being created you have four steps where the temporary data set is created in the second step and if you are trying to use a temporary data step in the four steps and you are trying to restart on the, from the four steps it's the job get appended why because the temporary data set is not being created and it will be searching for the temporary data set so be cautious on these two important points that is uh, please comment out the, your if statements and uh, if you have any temporary data set restart the step where temporary data set is created so let's see uh, example examples of this restarts so as usual uh, your job card and your you have a steps we have in this you have four steps so you want to skip the three steps and you want to uh, try to execute the from the four steps so you just type it restart equal to step two I mean sorry if you, you want to skip first step or step three, whatever you want so here I'm taking considering it as restart from step 2 so it will skip step 1 and it will try to execute from step 2 so this is the simple restart uh, restart when there is an if condition right so as usual job card so you have uh, step 1 step 2 step 3 and step 4 so uh, in step 2 actually I had uh, Return. I mean, if condition. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to comment this and trying to restart from step two. Okay. So the next step probably is uh, restart when there is a temporary data sets. So as usual, you will be coding your job card. So in step two. Okay. I I could have I should have been. Okay. Step three. Okay. So uh, you're trying to use this uh, temporary data set in step four. So you uh, if you want to if you want to uh, restart for your step four you cannot restart it why because the temporary data set is already being created in in step three so what you have to do is you have to uh, restart uh, restart your step from the step three so so that it will it won't get uh, your job won't get appended so this is the best way to practice it so these are the situations where me where we come across by working in the real time so it is better to practice in this way uh, w working with a restart bypassing techniques so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video kindly please subscribe share comment on my youtube channel i will be coming up with more and more videos thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasurable day